Hello, Mr. Red here. Today is the 18th of June, 2016. And today I'm in Folsom, Louisiana, and we're looking at bees inside of a false wall. There they are right there, coming and going. I've already been out here and uh, removed this top of this uh, false wall right here and found the bees. The bees have only been in here for maybe maybe three weeks um, I actually came and removed bees from this very same spot uh, four weeks ago and it, it was actually a dying colony and um, there, there was no queen there was you know maybe a handful of bees a thousand bees something like that and I merged those with another colony another uh, weaker hive at the Abbey but today this one is a is a new one uh, and uh, like I said I've already seen it it's um, it's actually a long this the long part of this uh, board right here and what I'm gonna do is uh, I got my my partner in crime today uh, Mr. Joe Gerald over there he's gonna be assisting me um, and we're going to um, just lift the uh, the top up and um, uh, put some blocks underneath it and then I'll start backing the bees out so with the grace of God um, these uh, bees wholesome bees will soon become Abby honeybees. Time to get busy and get some bees. There's that comb right there. And uh, it, it's actually grown probably about four inches since I've uh, come out here since the last time. So I'm gonna start vacuuming right away. Uh, the rain is definitely coming and I wanna get this done real quick. So I'm gonna grab the vacuum and start vacuuming. cut out. I'll show you the inside of the cavity. You can say there was at least two other hives in here at one time. Um, all the bees are all gone now. And that comb was super soft. Got me aggravated to try to band it up. I got two little sections of brood that didn't get ruined and I did not see the queen. Back at the Abbey now, I uh, decided to uh, finish this video uh, showing the release of, of the bees. And uh, so that's what I'm, I've got set up right here. This box right here is the box that we vacuumed all our bees in. And the hive was not, you know, really big hive. I, I don't think there were more than 5,000 bees and, and I sucked most of the bees. Unfortunately, the comb that was there, there were like four pieces of comb and it was very, very soft. 
I actually had to um, dispose of, of the biggest piece because it crumbled upon uh, trying to get it framed up. So it just wasn't a point. So I did manage to get some pieces in, some brood in there, but unfortunately no queen. So uh, um, I'm hoping that, that I vacuumed her without noticing that I vacuumed her and hopefully she's, she's in the box right here. So what I do at this point is I've got the, the vacuum box right here, you know, the one that's sponsored by uh, St. Joseph Abbey Woodworks, yes. And um, we've actually got um, the hive that these are actually going to go into is actually St. Joseph Abbey um, Woodworks hive. So the hive sponsor is going into the, the hive box. And this box right here has got the, uh, the few pieces of brood in there, uh, comb in there that I've got in there. And this box will then be placed on top of, of this shim right here that's got the, the netting in it. And after I put the uh, box on it and secure it, all I do is remove this uh, screen right here. The bees that are all up on the screen right now, they will then crawl up into the, uh, um, onto the brood. And that's the really good, good part about this type of, of, of bee vac is that instead of dumping the bees into you on top of your brood and all the trash that you vacuum, all the trash and everything stays in the bottom of, of your vac box and so all the bees leave all the trash and you don't get all that stuff dumped uh, into your hive. That's that's the main reason I like this type of vacuum cleaner um, and it works very good as far as the the, uh, the ratio of killing bees and all. So I'm going to go ahead and stack the box, remove the strap, stack the box, box and then just pull the screen out and let the bees fly. The uh, screen bottom board, I'll come back and put this on uh, tomorrow, um, after uh, I'll come back tomorrow and actually remove the vacuum box and then place the hive body on top of the, uh, the screen bottom board. So for right now it just stays out, outside. All I'm going to do is remove the strap. the box on top of it. Like I said, there's only there's only three frames that have got some brood, I mean uh, some comb in it. It's really a new it's a it's a swarm. That's what this is. And hopefully the bees will come up. Now there is some brood in there. There's there's you know little sections of brood not brand new eggs. So if the queen didn't make it, hopefully they'll be able to make another queen cell and, and still make it. That's, that's really all there is. You stack what you cut out in, on top of the ones that you vacuum. Then you remove the um, screen. So it's all set up. And all that has to be done now is to remove the screen. I'm actually going to open up the bottom vent where the uh, vacuum and I'm going to let them fly out of here also. So there you have it. Another successful uh, removal. And I believe I'm actually going to go get another one right now. It's, it's overcast right now. It's supposed to be raining on and off all day today. But there's another little external hive about about six miles from here that I think I might go and, and get. It's still early. It's only about 8.30 in the morning. I may go ahead and get that. But for right now, I'm going to sign off um, with the Folsom bee removal. So this is Mr. Ed. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed. I'm out of here. New bees. <laughs>